Hello, my fellow comic fans here, and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm so excited for this game. So you answer a lot of questions. Am I not recognized? I should sign myself in automatic or manually. Yeah, there are a lot of questions you can answer. Fifteen of them in a grid. But anyway, let's get inside and answer some questions. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Oh, here I am in the judge. You have 10 questions to answer in round oh. one. The questions are worth anything from $100 to $10,000, but you won't know how much until after you answer each question. Let's see the question categories. And now we'll give them a shuffle. These you can use the jump the question lifeline two questions. times in this round. For me to you answer. won't win any money for the question, but you can stay in the game. You can answer a question by selecting an answer with your hand. You can also answer a question by reading the answer out loud. Are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play Millionaire. Here's the first question. First question is real smooth. What notably hairless actor has been bald since the age of 20 due to a makeup mishap involving grease paint? Michael Chiklis, Vin Diesel, Stanley Tucci, Patrick Stewart. Why am I holding a dog bone? Dogs aren't allowed in this game. That's pretty annoying. I'm gonna go with uh, Stanley Tucci. Is that your final answer? No. I'll go with Stanley Tussie. Stanley Tussie. Is that your final answer? When someone asks me if that's my final answer, if I say yes. No. Sorry. That was incorrect. I'm pretty dumb. Dumb am I. That's I the won end of the game. nothing. Come back and play I have again. to start over. We're doing Miss Lonely Hearts. Which of these actresses did not appear in the star-studded 2010 hit Valentine's Day? Anne Hathaway, Queen Latifah, Julia Roberts, Jennifer Aniston. I'm confused with all those ladies. Which one are they? Time for me to go with Queen Latifah. Is that your final answer? Yes. Unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. Oh, that was Jennifer Aniston. That's the end of the game for now. Don't forget to play again. We're doing airplane activity. Known for its wacky products like lawn ghouls and spy pens, what catalog is often found on airplanes? Cloud Shop, Sky Mall, Air Store, Plane Buys. Oh, there's a dog bone again. And this is a dog. Kind of annoying to me and my avatar. Can't decide. There's no 50 50 or phone a friend. They only have asked the audience to jump the question. Do you want to jump the question? No. 
I'm gonna go to Sky Mall. Is that your final answer? Yes. Yes, it's correct. Sky it. Mall is correct. Got five hundred dollars. Time for question number two. Mayberry's Finest is a line of southern comfort foods inspired by what classic TV series? The Andy you Griffith Show. TV. Green Acres. Petticoat Junction. The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis. Pretty confused now for all those TV shows. So I go with. Did I go with Green Acres? Green Acres. Is that your final answer? I think that's a yes. Unfortunately, what? that's the wrong answer. And the Andy Grip show. So awfully. That's the end of the game. Come back and play again. Awful. Do you want to play yes. again? Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You have 10 questions to answer in round one. The questions are worth anything from... Here's the first question. Film what popular movie birth. was based on a 1976 magazine article about the 2001 Odyssey nightclub, Flashdance, Urban Cowboy, Saturday Night Fever, Dirty Dancing? I can't decide which movie it is. So, so. Dumb, perhaps. Should I go with Saturday Night Fever? I go with Saturday Night Fever. Did I say Saturday Night Fever? Saturday Night Fever. Is that your final answer? No. Saturday. How about Flash? Is that your final answer? No. How about Flash Dance? How about Flash Dance? Flash Dance? Is that your final answer? Uh, yes. It is. No. Oh, you missed it. It is Saturday well, Night Fever. I'm one, so, so fun. forgetful. Thanks for playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Time for fitness craze. The first Nordic track was originally conceived as an indoor exerciser for athletes in what sport? Cross country skiing. Rowing, rock climbing, mountain biking. Oh, well, what's a better exercise here? Can't decide. Maybe the audience is going to laugh or something. So. Do I just go with cross country skiing? It's a dog three times. It's annoying me. Maybe I go with 
mountain biking. Is that your final answer? No. It's cross country skiing. Is that your final answer? Yes. That's what we're looking yes. for. You're it's right. Cross country skiing. You've won five thousand dollars. Put in my bank. Time for question number two. We move on to capital city. Tourists intending to visit the capital city of San Jose would receive the best travel advice from what guidebook? Let's go Belize. Let's go Mexico. Let's go Costa Rica. Let's go Paraguay. Can't decide which is the let's go's. I think it's every single state. Can't remember. I go with Let's Go Mexico. Let's Go Mexico said. Is that your yes. final answer? Yes. No, no it's that Costa Rica. Answer. That wasn't Mexico. Thanks for playing. Got a thousand dollars for my total winning. Time for the champ. Who did Muhammad Ali beat in the 1974 boxing match known as the Rumble in the Jungle? Leon Spinks, George Foreman, Joe Frazier, Ken Norton. I'm pretty confused on which wrestler or boxing match boxer. Beat by Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Could be Joe Fraser. I think it's Joe Fraser. Is that your final answer? The yes. Oh, you it missed is it. George well, Foreman. You may not have won, but at least you had fun. That's the end of the game for now. Don't forget to play again. The what name medical game. disorder is named for an 18th it's century Berg. German baron who was known for telling tall tales. Munchausen syndrome. Stendhal syndrome. Marfan syndrome. Asperger syndrome. I can't figure out which one is ending with syndrome. Is that your final no. answer? No. Can't decide. Which one is it? Could it be the Munchausen syndrome? Could it be Munchausen syndrome? Is that your final answer? Yes. Much better. It is Munchausen syndrome. Seven thousand dollars put in my bank. We're moving on. Time for question number two. Celebrity Inc. What tattooed celebrity has the names of his three sons, Brooklyn, Romeo, and Cruz, inked on his back? Johnny Depp, Eminem, Jamie Foxx, David Beckham. I can't remember which artist. There are four artists. Is it Eminem? Is that your final answer? One of the candies. How about you go with yes? Unfortunately, oh, that's the David wrong answer. Beckham. Always Misanswering questions. Four thousand dollars. My total winning.
I am going to end this gameplay right here. Tomorrow I'll be playing Mario Kart 8. I have to do better on answering questions and who wants to be a millionaire. So now, like, comment, subscribe, and follow me, link in the description below. If that dog annoys me, I have to remove it from the avatar store. But right now, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.